When we talk about early man, it's important to be specific about what life was like for them, what humans could do, and what humans couldn't do yet. The time period we're talking about in this video is called the Paleolithic Era, which is also known as the Old Stone Age. The word Paleolithic comes from two Greek roots, paleo, coming from a word that meant ancient or old, and lithos, which meant stone. So literally, Paleolithic is talking about the Old Stone Age. Another thing we need to think about for this time period is that we don't have any written records from early humans who lived then. This might sound weird to say in a history class, but the Stone Age, both old and new, is part of what we call prehistory. This means the time before things were written down. They could communicate with some form of speaking or oral language, but there was no writing or long-term record keeping. Think of history as everything we know since people began writing things down. Before writing is pre-history. So what was life like during the Paleolithic era? For one, Paleolithic man used simple stone tools. And when I say simple, I mean extremely basic. Specially shaped stones were used by themselves as hand axes without a handle by gripping a rock with the palm of your hand with the sharp end facing out. Paleolithic man was constantly on the move, living a nomadic lifestyle in search of food. The word nomad comes from the Greek word nomas, which meant to roam in search of pasture. In the case of Paleolithic man, they were nomadic in that they didn't have permanent homes and roamed around following animal migrations and finding food to gather from trees and bushes. During this time period, these hunter-gatherers lived in small bands of people. If their group was too large, it would be hard to feed everyone if they went long periods of time without finding new food sources. If their group was too small, it would be easier to feed everyone, but harder to defend themselves from other groups or predators. One technological adaptation that Paleolithic man developed was fire. This was a game changer for many reasons. Fire allowed people to survive longer in colder climates. It helped them work with primitive tools. It allowed them to cook their food. It provided protection from predators while they were sleeping. And it allowed them to go deeper into caves that they might use as temporary shelters. We know quite a bit about the caves these Paleolithic people stayed in because we have found examples of their cave art all across the world. There are cave paintings in Europe, Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia, each focusing on similar subjects, mostly animals and hunting. When studying the Paleolithic era, you have to keep in mind that all of these factors combined to describe and determine their lifestyle. Why were they nomads? Because they had to hunt and gather for food, which meant they couldn't stay in one place if they wanted to survive. What allowed Paleolithic people to create cave paintings? They had fire that allowed them to delve deeper into these caves. Their tools were very simple and they couldn't write things down, but they could communicate with some form of oral language. This is prehistory we're talking about, remember? In the next video, we're gonna explore the transition from the Paleolithic era to the Neolithic era. The old Stone Age becoming the new Stone Age when humans discovered something that would change things forever.